tell us more about you. Um, want to know more about you, your family? Yeah. Um, well, my name is Panasia Kimberly Peters. That's usually the first sentence. And uh, I'm 23 now. I in Harare, Mount Pleasant. I'm a student at the University of Zimbabwe. Um, currently, this use it 2019. Uh, although I'm about to, you know, I'm outgoing. If it weren't for the coronavirus, I would have, you know, <laughs> I wouldn't be by now. And um, okay. I'm also Miss University Africa Zimbabwe and Miss Europe Continental Zimbabwe and a former mm -hmm. Miss in Harare. Oh, that's an impressive CV. <laughs> All right, um, so I have another question for you. Did you always want to be a model? If I uh, made you to go that path? No, I wasn't entirely going to be a model. Like, it wasn't my first choice. Okay. But I met a photographer when I was working at a particular place in town. And um, he just said, are you willing to be a model? Like, would you like to try it out? And I said, ah, uh, you know what, let's... Okay. Ah, let me try. Hi. Sorry, I had a call. Anyway. Oh yeah. Um... I was saying, so he asked me to try it out, and then I tried it out, and I liked it. It was the first time I had makeup on, and I looked pretty. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, it was, yeah. It was fun. I mean, then you decided that this is what you wanted to do. Okay. Yeah, and then okay. it's, it's really nice. So, um, when, I was, when we were doing our research, we got to find out that you worked with Gito. How was the experience? And uh, what are the companies you and an ambassador for that. And how did they get to discover you? Like the YouTube so that they could work with you? Yeah, actually. Uh, it was through that photographer because um, those pictures, my first pictures were the ones that he used to propose me as face of detail for that um, particular period in time. So that's how I ended up working with Tito. It was my first ever modeling job, and I was very lucky because it was a big company. And I guess that's how my career really kick started. Okay. Lucky for you. And apart from Gita, what other companies have you worked with? I've worked for a brand, a hair brand called um, Bella Hair. Like the Bella Bella yeah, so I've been there, been there face for, I think it was 2018. Um, I've worked with Econet, I've had done a project with Econet, I've done a project with um, Palenta, I've worked with, I worked with so many, like it's just, you know. Yeah, I see that. Uh, what about it? Since 2000, I think it's four years now. This is my fourth year. So I've imagined over four years I've had quite a lot Can of... Can I be you for a day? <laughs> Can I be you for a day? <laughs> I really want to work with Pali. <laughs> yeah, especially this moment. Yeah. You know? ah. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, so we got another question for you. Uh, can you tell us uh, briefly about your journey uh, to being a crowned Miss user? Well, that's an interesting story. <laughs> so, uh, all the time. <laughs> so what happened was. Um, my friends, I just started um, studying at the UZ, and then my, they were mm -hmm. posted everywhere. So my friends just um, 
Okay, so um, I was saying, so my friends just said, um, you know, try it. Why aren't you going to do it? You're there. It's an opportunity. You don't know what it's going to bring about. And why would you be there and not take the opportunity? Like, I didn't want to, but then my friends were like, just do it. So at first I did it for And then it became, um, it brought a lot of um, talk. Like, people began to talk. Okay. And the that I am a professional model, right? And being a professional model then meant that I was overqualified to be in a pageant like Miss Yvette. Yeah. Right. Um, so there was a lot of social media talk about it. <laughs> yes, exactly. Byron Bibomlinga is one of the friends. He's, in fact, he's a friend. <laughs> in the oh. comments, he's a friend. Okay. So, um, it then um, so happened. Okay, I then, you know, it became a point. Like, it became um, a quest, like, to prove that it's not about being a professional or having done it at a national level or anything. Because at that time, I felt like I, I had failed, remember, at Miss Tourism Zimbabwe. I just ended in the top... Um, eight. So I needed to come back down and you know learn other things and then maybe make my way up again or something like that. So yeah, that's how I ended up really working hard because there was competition. To be honest, those girls were just really good. They were very good girls in terms of um, you know they, it was very competitive. In as much as people didn't think so. But, well, it is what it means, and then I won, and then... <laughs> yeah, I saw the other more. In India, it was a, quite a competition. Mm -hmm. It was. It was very mm -hmm. steep factor, in my opinion. So your parents believe in you, right? Yeah, they do. Ah, they do. What caused you to go and participate? Anna <laughs> Biko. <laughs> yes. I mean, like, we all need to I'm not going to hide, but yeah. you're doing some things. And you look at you now. <laughs> yeah. right. 